uh, to the uh, Rita Raves and, and to the Republican and Mass Live, uh, I really got a kick out of Dave's bits last year. So now I'm going to be fodder, I guess. So. <laughs> Readers rave, yes they do, about things to see and stuff to do, what to, what eat. to eat and where to go. It really is revealing what the readers know, so they make their choices and they vote them in to MassLive.com and the Republican, where they publish all the winners and we all find out the kind of things that readers like to rave about. I'm in Darling. I'm an attorney at Bacon Wilson. Principal areas of my practice are estate planning, probate, tax. Do you ever giggle at your own name? Uh, once in a while I might. How do you know what the taxes are going to be like, what the future is going to be like? With, with the benefit of uh, a crystal ball, I can probably predict almost anything that's going to happen, especially what the taxes will be next year. That's fascinating. Sometimes when there's something that has to be resolved, uh, we, we have other tools of our trade. And one of my favorites is uh, this magic wand that hopefully will make all the problems go away for the client. Now, will you be billing me for this session? Uh, if you'll pay it, yes. Are there any lawyer jokes that you find funny? No. An orthodontist goes to a lawyer, says, I need you to represent me. The lawyer says, okay, but I'll need a retainer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that, that, that's a good one. Do you get annoyed with people asking you for free advice? Only sometimes. Can you help me with my mother? Absolutely. Uh, she wants you out of the will. <laughs> Hello, Rick. I never pictured you as a woman. Uh, Rick isn't crazy about doing interviews. He's a little shy. Is he ashamed of his auto body? Absolutely not. We're all very proud of it. I'm Susan Tarpinian. I'm the um, office manager, sort of jack of all trades. Now, why do you suppose this place is so darn successful? We really believe in what we do when we want to take care of the customer. Okay, now, um, you're an attractive woman. Have you had much body work? <laughs> um, no. What would you tell someone who says, heck, I don't need Rick's. I can go to some hole-in-the-wall auto body shop run by trolls? Well, they'd be mistaken because I don't know if the trolls would be able to put the car back together um, in the right fashion. We are really are so appreciative and so humbled by this honor. It really means a great deal to us. Square one is number one. Square one is number one. Are you nervous? No. How old are you? About 20, 21? Five. Are you married? No. you have a boyfriend? No. What do you do at this school? What kind of things do you do here? Um, I make Play-Doh. Do you juggle? No. I play with Legos. I like to play patty cake. Do you drive a car? No. I drive a bus. We dance. What about naps? Do you ever take naps here? No. Do you really nap or do you pretend to sleep? Pretend to sleep. And I go to bed, I'm just knocked out. What's a fun toy to play with? Um, animals. Live animals? Yes. What do you like to eat here? Macaroni and cheese. Would you trade me vegetables for two apple juices? Two apple juices? Yeah. No. I like to eat broccoli. How about if I throw in a roll? No. Do you think this is the best school? Yes. Thank you, Reader Rays. 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 Our business is built on trust and return business and referrals. Have you been in this business your whole life? My whole life. Not yet. <laughs> <laughs> Did you ever watch Six Feet Under on HBO? 
I did, and I will tell you it's my favorite show. I never watched it. I get enough funerals at work. Now, I sometimes feel uncomfortable talking to funeral directors. I feel like they're embalming me with their eyes. Um, do people ever act funny when they meet you socially? In certain circumstances, I'll tell people I'm a lawyer. When you're driving with a deceased person in Connecticut, do you use the uh, commuter lane? <laughs> no. No, we don't. Are there funeral director conventions? There is. This year's is in Nashville, Tennessee. Is that a bad week to die? <laughs> I would think so. I, I like to say thank you. I'm glad you noticed you know, our work. And when folks go out of their way to select you for receiving such an award, it was a great honor. My name's Barry Crosby. I'm President and Chief Executive Officer of Freedom Credit Union. Now, why would somebody come to a credit union when they can go to a giant mega bank? A uh, personalized membership service. When our forefathers fought for freedom, you think they were thinking credit union? Probably not. They were thinking for life and liberty and the pursuit of happiness. Now, is this a good place to get a mortgage? Yes, sir, it is. How are the interest rates? Uh, we're at historic lows for the last six or seven years. That reminds me of my first girlfriend. She had very low interest. Now, if customers do their banking at a bank, what do you call what they do at a credit union? They perform their personal financial services here at Freedom Credit Union. That's a good answer. Now, what was your reaction when you found you won this uh, Rita Raves Award? It's a confirmation that we're doing the best possible we can for the membership of the credit union. Thank you for your membership. What was your reaction when you heard that you'd won this award? Very thrilled. What do you enjoy most about your work here? I just love being with animals. This is your dog here? This is my dog, Tex. Is there any truth to the uh, idea that dogs look like their owners? I don't think so, sometimes. As a Jewish veterinarian, yes. do you perform a lot of circumcisions? None. <laughs> Actually, I have performed one. Now, what, what would you say, you know, for instance, is the most interesting animal you've ever treated? I took care of deer, fox, coyotes, bobcats, porcupines. Do you draw straws to see who gets stuck with a porcupine? No, I was the only one. There was a joke in there. Actually. I got it. Yeah, all right, all right. Yeah. Uh, ever work on a snake? Uh, I have once, yes. Did you charge by the foot? No. I used that same joke for millipedes. <laughs> The best thing about this is that it honors my employees. I have the very best employees in the world. Do you trim nails? Oh, yeah. Will you trim mine? Yes. <laughs> yes, we would. Gene Cassidy, I'm the president of the Eastern States Exposition. Well, do you prepare all year or do you just goof around and then do it all the week before? Well, there's a lot of goofing around that goes on. Now, the Biggie won the award for the best fair. Isn't that like Superman winning an arm wrestling contest? <laughs> it is. There are so many things to do here. What are your personal favorites, unless that's too personal? Uh, my favorite thing to do is to go down a giant slide because it invokes so many memories of my childhood. Do you have a favorite food? I do. Fried cheese curds. Uh, is there a cow made of butter this year? There's an enormous cow made of butter. I hear it takes more sticks of butter to make a cow than it takes cows to make a stick of butter. <laughs> um, do you ride the rise or are you too old for that? I am probably too old for that, but I try to ride at least one of the uh, big rides each season. Have you ever sheared a sheep? I have not. Oh, I'm surprised. I have not. I wonder, I wonder why. I have an idea for you for next year. It's a demolition derby, but with horses. The picture is Mr. Brooks. 
Who's in the urn? He might be there too. Oh. <laughs> and all of us at the Eastern States Exposition hope that every day for you is a fair day. You didn't just make that up, did you? My name is Steve Weigel. I'm the COO of Friendly's uh, Ice Cream Company. Are you sure you're pronouncing your last name correctly? <laughs> I am. Is it safe to say that you are second in command at Friendly's? I guess it is okay for me to say that. Second to the CEO? Yes. How's his health? <laughs> He's doing good. Just in case you want to have breakfast this morning, I brought you a buy one, get one free coupon. So that'll save you a few bucks right there. The beautiful Friendly's Ice Cream shrubberies that we see on the mass turnpike, are they plastic? They are not. They actually are real uh, living, breathing shrubs. Do you ever have dreams where you're beating up Ben and Jerry? Uh, yes. French vanilla and vanilla, what's the difference? <laughs> well, for us, the, uh, the vanilla is our number one flavor, and you know, every single ice cream that you enjoy in a Friendly's is made uh, with fresh dairy every day brought into our Wilbraham uh, Creamery, as well as the whipped topping is one of uh, made only in Friendly's. That's very impressive. You have no idea what the difference is, do you? I uh, know, but I, I went around that question for you, right? Well, we really appreciate it, and uh, we will continue to always live up to the expectations of our brand and the memories people have from generations ago and the generations in the future. Ralph Santanello. I am uh, one of the owners uh, of the Federal Restaurant Group. What is so romantic about this place? A beautiful building with uh, rich history, you know, but most importantly, it's the service, the style of service, and the food. Now, does the romance ever get out of hand? Do you have to keep a hose handy? Sometimes, sometimes, but that's only uh, right around Valentine's Day. Okay, so tell me about your, uh, your award-winning staff. Most of my staff um, have been here for over two years. Uh, I have staff members that have been here uh, nine years, eight years. You think they stay here so long because of the federal employee benefits? <laughs> <laughs> now, is there a food item you're especially known for? Obviously, I think anybody who's been to the federal will tell you it's the uh, risotto balls. Oh, that was my nickname in high school. <laughs> what would you tell someone looking for a romantic restaurant? Well, obviously, the reader raves can't be wrong, so you got to pick the federal. I'm uh, Jeff Wingate. I'm from Pops Biscotti and Chocolates. Now you work with your wife, is that correct? My wife and my son, yep. Uh, does that make your uh, your marriage a living hell? Absolutely. Now where does the name Pops come from? Um, we originally started, we do hand-painted Pops. Have you ever thought of opening a store in Boston and calling it Boston Pops? No, <laughs> it's a good idea. I love the smell in here, the chocolate smell. Do, do you ever get sick of chocolate? We don't eat a lot of chocolate. No? No. Did you need me to taste any chocolate today? I do, okay. I do. I'm here for you. And we got plenty for you to try. Are you considered a chocolatier? My wife's the chocolatier, I make the biscotti. Have you ever cried chocolatiers? Twice. The slogan on your website says, you know you want some, but when I Google, you know you want some, I get a much different kind of website. <laughs> it's true. Now, what would you like to tell the people who voted for you? Uh, thank you very much, we appreciate it. Um, it's nice to know that all of our hard work pays off, and uh, thank you.
I'm uh, Raymond Pluff. I own Family Bike. What does a serious rider pay for a bike? They can range anywhere from 900 to 10 grand. Wow, what does a crazy rider pay? Are you busy all year or does your business have a cycle? Uh, no, we definitely have a cycle. You have a lot of cycles. Yeah. <laughs> Get it? What's popular in bikes today? Monster tires. Wow. Five inches wide. Goes in the snow, right into the dirt. When I was a kid, I had a three-speed bike. How many speeds do kids have today? Uh, usually around 27 is probably the... Oil brats. I'm guessing kids don't put baseball cards in the spokes anymore? No, no more noisemakers. Now, the Wright brothers built an airplane in their bike shop. What have you done? Okay, now what would you like to say to the people who voted Family Bike as the best bike shop? Uh, we'd like to thank them for coming, you know, voting for us and we appreciate the, uh, the effort to, you know, praise us for our hard work. How many years have you been in business? Uh, 39. Is that your original mustache? Yes, it is. It, it actually, I grew it when I was seven. Do you get recognized a lot? I get recognized wherever I am. Does that get annoying? Never. Let's talk about chain stores. Yeah. Are they really the best place to buy chain? You know, I, I think they are, and I can give you a link. Now, your store is called Dave Soda and Pet City. Does anyone think of you as the soda guy? Yeah, I still get uh, I still get that all the time. Do pets drink a lot of soda? They shouldn't. We discourage it. It gives them gas. You manufacture your own dog food, correct? I do. How does it taste? You know, it, it really tastes good. Do you know why dogs are such terrible dancers? I uh, know. They have two left feet. Are the writers on strike? So for everyone who voted for us, number one, it's a huge thank you. And it's just great for my crew because they're really the ones that you voted were the best. Thank you very much. What was your reaction when you heard you'd won the uh, the best personality? This is what I did. <laughs> like that, like that, like that Home Alone thing. Are, are you best friends in real life? Do you pal around and do things together on weekends? No, we have, uh, this is really purely a contractual obligation. I can't stand the guy. What do you talk about when you run out of things to talk about? We simply play more Steve Miller. What scares you more, global warming or satellite radio? I don't uh, see any real evidence that satellite radio even exists. What would you like to tell the people who voted for you? Get yourself into rehab, get a sponsor, and go to meetings. Have I left out anything important? Have you left out anything important? <laughs> Been waiting for you to get to something important. <laughs> Have you heard my impression of someone who's just met Bax and O'Brien? No. You know, Bax actually seems like a nice guy. <laughs> It's all true. I'm Sarah Pompey. I'm the president of the Springfield Falcons. When you heard you won the award for best local sports team, was your reaction one of surprise and more like, you know, duh? We were very thrilled. Can you explain to us non-hockey people what a hat trick is? Hat trick is when one player scores three goals in a single game. Do the fans actually throw hats on the um, ice? The fans do throw hats on the ice. Can I have a hat? Sure, you can have a hat. All right, thank you. Do people around the office ever call each other hockey pucks? No, they do not. No. Oh, sorry to hear that. <laughs> now, what does your phone number spell? Goal. Did you know that if you use the entire number, it spells sex goal? <laughs> That's true, but you probably won't use that in your advertising. No, absolutely not. Season ticket holders, do you have any celebrities, anybody notable? Mayor Sarno. Will he be here in the home game? Yes, I will, and I expect to see all the viewing audience there. Come down to a Falcons game, you'll get hooked just after one time here at the Mass Mutual Center.
My name is uh, Charles Kilbasa. I'm a police officer for the city of Westfield. All right, we got to make this quick. I'm parked illegally. You are. Now, just how friendly are you? I mean, would you loan me 20 bucks? No. With this award, are you afraid that bad guys will try to take advantage of you because you're so friendly? I don't think so. Growing up, did you have a favorite cop show on TV? Uh, I know we used to watch Adam 12 all the time. Yes, <laughs> that, was, that was my favorite. Yep. Now, when did you change your name to Kielbasa? That's been my name. Do you ever feel awkward around actual Kielbasa? No, I love Kielbasa. Okay. Do you see a lot of action in Westfield? It's not the sleepy town that everyone thinks it is. Sure. Uh, I credit a lot of that to our police department that people don't know we do a darn good job. Just now, did you almost say damn? I did. <laughs> <laughs> I could tell. That wouldn't be very friendly, would it? <laughs> no. Hey, I can get you some pirated DVDs of Adam 12 if you want. Uh, negative. Uh, I don't know who's voting for me, but but I just think it's, you know, my interaction with people on a daily basis that people think of me as being friendly. I'm Dave Brunell, and I've lived in Longmeadow since I was 10 years old. What do you like most about Longmeadow? Oh, I like the town green, I like the library, uh, the houses. Do you ever get teased for living in Longmeadow? Uh, what do you mean? You know, the whole rich, snobby thing? No, no, no. I, I have a lot of friends in Longmeadow. They are neither rich nor snobby. Did you say nor snobby? Yes, why? Nothing. So do things cost more in Longmeadow? I don't know. So you just buy things without knowing what they cost? No. No, I, I, it's, are you trying to denigrate me? I don't Did know. you go to school in Longmeadow? Yes. Is that where you learned words like denigrate? Do you have a problem with Longmeadow? Do you have a problem with Longmeadow? Hold on. I didn't come here to be vilified today. Is that another Longmeadow word? You know, that's it. Forget it. The interview's over. You know you're a jerk. You know you're a jerk. Let's see what kind of car he gets into. What is a typical day like for the mayor of Springfield? Your typical day... You keep it clean. Yeah. <laughs> Ever-changing. I have Googled you all over the internet and been unable to find your middle name. Can you please tell the people of Springfield what the J stands for? My middle name is John, and in Italian it's Giovanni. Do you think it's fair that West Springfield is a city, but East Springfield doesn't get to be a city? West Side was a town, it's now a city. East Side is Springfield born, bred, and, and proud. All right, I have a couple of quick lifestyle this is, You're questions. like Alex Trebek here. Do I win? Do I win? Uh... <laughs> Which do you prefer? Dogs or cats? Uh, dogs. Horseshoes or bocce? Bocce. Jeans or khakis? Jeans, I like jeans. Bonus question, corduroy. Ever corduroy? I can't stand corduroy. Starbucks or Dunkin' Donuts? Dunkin' Donuts. Latte this, latte that, double, double express. I don't care for that at all. Ginger or Marianne? I like Marianne. No, I'm sorry, the correct answer is Ginger. <laughs> a quick Springfield mayor quiz. These are questions about oh, Springfield mayors, oh, okay? Oh man, okay, Dave, here we go. Which Springfield mayor is currently a U.S. congressman? Uh, Richie Neal. Which Springfield mayor played the trumpet? Uh, I believe Teddy DeMauro. That's correct. Which Springfield mayor was known to use the ladies' room? Oh, Mary Hurley. <laughs> which, which Springfield mayor shared the name of a character on MASH? You got me on that one. It's probably right on, right in front of my eyes. No, too. it's a tricky one. It was in 1868, Charles. Well, how the Charles, hell would I know that? <laughs> Charles Winchester. Thank you, Reader Raves. Thank you, Mass Live. Thank you, uh, the Republican. And again, I know the Mass Live forms. All my fans on there will have a field day with this. So they make their choices and they vote them in to MassLive.com and the Republican Where they publish all the winners and we all find out The kind of things that readers like to rave about ooh, ah, ooh, ah, ooh, ah. And you know what? Maybe I'll wear a pair of corduroys one of these days too. <laughs>